Friends, in this video, we're going to talk about the different types of lines you can draw. Usually you will do this in Google Slides or Google Drawings. You can do it in Google Docs. Um, it's just drawing in Google Docs is a little bit harder, um, not as free as it is in Google Slides or Google Drawings. If you want a drawing inside Google Docs, it's easier just to make it in Google Drawings, download it as a picture and insert it instead of trying to draw inside Google Docs. All right, so we're inside a Google slideshow. We need to make a new slide. There we go. It put it at the front. I actually want it at the end, but since I was on the first slide, it made it automatically right after that slide. So I could do this a couple different ways. I can press backspace and delete that slide or just click and drag it all the way down. Look at the orange line. That's where it will land. And there we go. If I wanted to create a new one after this, I can click on this and then create my new slide. All right, so here we are on our Google um, Slides new slide. This, it will look like this when you start. This is how we do a line. You're gonna click right on that little dot. To get off the line drawing, you click this arrow. See that it's orange now? So now I have an arrow. I click on the line and now I have a plus sign. The plus sign means I'm about to draw something. The line is just that simple line. I can make it go whatever angle I want to, but it's just going to be a straight line. To change the type of line or the color, there's our tools right there on our ribbon. So I'm going to click and change the color. It's hard to see the color because of the blue highlight showing that I've selected that one. So I can make it thicker. I can change the style. And I can change the ends. If I want a specific type of end on my line, I can do both ends the same. I can do them differently, however I want to do it. I can change the angle even after I've drawn it. I can change the color. Just remember, all that stuff disappeared because I clicked off the line. Click back on. I've got that blue highlight, blue line around it. And now I can change what it looks like. So that's a basic straight line, but there's other choices. If you click this teeny tiny drop down arrow here, I can choose an arrow, which just gives it an arrow and on one side of the line, instead of having to create it yourself. An elbow connector lets you connect two other things. Maybe I wanna do a text box or a shape here, and a text box or a shape here, and then connect the two like a flow chart. Um, this little orange line lets me change the size of that connector. There's also a curved connector, which does similar, but with a curve instead of straight lines. So it just depends on what you want it to look like. Or it kind of looks like a slide. If you want to draw a slide on a picture, there you go. You just drew a slide. Then you can change it to a curve. And a curve, um, you create it a little bit differently. Click one place, move your line, click, and when you move it again, notice the curve changes. Click, click. You keep clicking until you finish your curve, however you want it to be, and when you're finished, double click. Click two times real fast. Click, click, and now you've finished your line. And that's how you stop drawing. Again, once you've drawn, you can then change what it looks like. Click on it, change the color, change the weight, change the style. Okay, our next one is a polyline. I like the polyline. You can draw any type of polygram, which we know a polygram is a closed shape with straight lines. So I'm going to make nine sides. Actually, so I'm going to make nine um, clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then right here, I'm going to double click. Actually, I don't think I even need to double click. I think it worked with just a click right on the spot where I started. And now I should have eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight, which means I just made an octagon. It's not a regular octagon. It's an irregular octagon, but I still made an octagon. Now, notice we have a paint bucket now because we just made a polygon. We can change the inside of the shape as well as the outside of the shape. If you want a regular polygon, those are going to be in the shapes already for you. You can do, um, there's a square or a rectangle. This one is, let's see, we have several different triangles. We have parallelogram. We have a trapezoid, which is my favorite. Um, we have a diamond shape. You have a pentagon and you have all these different, you have six, seven, eight, 10 and 12 sided shapes. All right, we have one more thing down here and that's scribble. With scribble, it's exactly that. You scribble something. So you can do just lines, okay? Notice when I stopped, it changed my arrow back to an arrow instead of the plus sign. I need to click back on my scribble. So I wanna write something. I keep having to go back to my scribble to keep going with my writing. There we go. So you click and drag when you're doing the scribble. Again, I can change the color of it and the weight of it, but I've just written on my page. If you wanna do cursive, you can do that. Just keep writing and don't let go until you finished and then you can draw your words. There we go. All right, that's the basics of line drawing. Have fun.